23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. An investigation unveiling thousands of fraudulent unemployment claims totaling millions in benefits. The Sacramento County District Attorney saying thousands of claims were falsely made using the names of prison inmates. One of the names used, convicted murderer Scott Peterson. The Sacramento County District Attorney saying 35,000 statewide claims were filed. Around 20,000 were paid out, totaling at least $140 million in benefits. At least 150 Eight claims have been filed for 133 inmates on death row. According to Kern County DA Cynthia Zimmer, of those out of those statewide totals, over 4,000 fraudulent applications were filed from correctional facilities here in Kern County. Of those, 2,500 of the claims were paid out, totaling about $16 million. 23 ABC talked to Congressman Kevin McCarthy today about the investigation. Here's what he had to say about it. Yeah, there's even one that I heard uh, a famous murderer is get, get, providing money. Um, that's taxpayer money going out to a person in prison, gaming the system. We want to make sure that those who rightfully have a right to the resources that it's provided, but for people to cheat the system, we've got to make sure we correct that. We also talked to McCarthy about the 2020 election, the transition of power for the president-elect Joe Biden, COVID, and more. You can see the full interview online at turn to 23com our temperatures really not changing too much for our Wednesday. High temperatures running maybe a couple degrees cooler than what we saw on Tuesday here. 62 in Bakersfield, 57 degrees for the high at the Grapevine, 63 in Mojave, 65 at Jawbone Canyon. But the winds are definitely going to be changing. Here's what we can expect for wind gusts by the time we get to tomorrow evening. 30, 40, even as high as 50 miles per hour at and below pass level. So we do have a wind advisory for eastern Kern County. Not too much wind to be worried about here in the valley, but the temperatures in the valley definitely Definitely going to be dropping over the next couple of days down to 57 on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving night into Friday night, lower to mid 30s. So a freeze watch in effect for the valley uh, for those nights. And then we do warm up towards the end of the forecast. 70 forecast for the rest of Kern County. Again, it is going to be windy through the mountains and into the desert. Things calm down as we head into Friday and the weekend looks fairly nice. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.